everybody, this is Vincent Meza with Listings to Leads, and it's Monday, and it's time to talk about how to get more listings. So we do a lot of things. You can see here from our website, we can help agents get buyers and seller leads, whether you have listings or whether you don't. We've got great social media automation, great ways to capture leads from social media, a lot of mobile optimized tools. We have unlimited landing pages. We even have Facebook and Google software embedded in here to make ads on those platforms in one to two clicks. We just make things really easy for realtors to build a brand, be online, and capture contact information for buyers and sellers. So today's class is how to get more listings. I asked a couple of questions as we got started here, uh, before we got started about who, you know, how do you find us? How long you've been with us and who here has listings? So let's get some answers first. So I'm hearing nobody has listings. And that's been with us a couple, oh, been with us a couple months and found us on Google. And you have listings with three more coming up right on and up. So since one of us here that I can tell has listings, let's just kind of take the, the direction of that. And so let's, let's start there and talk about how do you get listings with listings to leads, right? So when we log in our account, there are really a few areas that you want to think about, right? And one is landing pages. Okay. And, and, and a landing page is something like this, right? We can, we have one for diamond head set up over here. What is your diamond head home worth, right? This is a client out in Hawaii. So, you know, that kind of makes sense. Now. A lot of realtors think you should run an ad on Facebook on this. They've been doing it for years. It's not really the most easiest way. It's also not the most effective way of getting listing leads, but it is a way. We'll kind of dive into that a little bit later. There's also PDF guide ads. Okay. And so we actually create 80 PDF guides. You may not know this. Half of them are for buyers, right? So 40 of these are for buyers and 40 of these are for sellers for homeowners. And you can download them and door knock these PDF guides. If you, if you download it, you're going to notice that you, the agent are branded on every page of every one of these guides. So they're a really great resource for either homeowners or home buyers, and you're associated on every page, right? So you can door knock them if you want, or you can mail them out if you want, but any, a really easy way to get them into the market is to run an ad, right? So if I want to think about five dangers of overpricing and create an ad, you can do that here in English or in Spanish, always leave it on lead ads. Okay. That's just know that. And boom, you go here. All you got to do to create an ad is type in the name of a city, right? So I'm kind of moving fast here. So don't get too, too concerned. I'm just showing it a high, high level very quickly. What are the ways to capture listings? We're going to go in depth on a lot of this in a few minutes. So running ads on, on Facebook to get seller leads is smart. Running ads on Google is also very smart, probably smart, but you can also use your listings. Okay. And that's kind of what I wanted to get into because somebody here is saying she's got listings and she's going to have more listings. So there's a really good reason why you should all know that you can use your listings to get more listings. Now, before we get into all that, I want to talk a little bit about some broader topics. One is if you want more listings, you should all log into your, your listings to leads account, go to the listings page. Like I am right here and click this cool button that says create listing presentation. And you should do this as soon as you get off this call. And if you ever find yourself in a listing presentation, you should probably have this handy as a lead behind. I'm going to download it now and look at it. And a lot of our clients over the years have said that this listing presentation, it's unbeatable, right? And I know that most of you, if you are sitting in an office across the desk with somebody, you're going, you're going to close that deal because you're so knowledgeable, right? And you're so personable. That's really the forte of most realtors. And, but so that's great. But also if you look at this 27 page document, you're going to see that we are doing a whole lot to market their home. Now you don't have to tell them that it's listings to leads because we actually don't have listings to leads on this page. It's talking about all the things that listings to leads is going to do for you. Right. And so, but is, if you're able to speak 
through this document, you will find that there is basically no other realtor that's going to bring all of this to the table. Okay. So download this, read it. I'm going to talk about some of this, but that's not really the point of this call. I do think this is really important for you to have because this discussion is how to get listings and this is going to help you close those listings. So get a hold of this and it'll help kind of reinforce what we're going to talk about today. All right. That's a listing presentation. It's right here on the top and that's going to be super helpful for you. Before we get into the whole class though, let's talk about what's here to help you because you're going to run into, you know, just the learning curve of how to get this. So let's see some questions. I see them coming in. So feel free to put in your questions. So Mina, from your experience, what topics are getting more leads? Yeah. Okay. Give me a second. I keep running into an error when I try to add the city. Hmm. Okay. Is there a training video on the listing presentation? No, there isn't a, tra a training video. Well, there might be, but that's going to get into what I was just about to give to drive, drop into. So right now I'm just going to click pause and we're going to talk about what are the resources for you as new clients or just clients in general to learn our platform, right? Because I'm going to talk about a portion of our platform. There's a lot more to it. The more you understand, the more you can leverage in your business and the more your business will grow. So the first place I definitely recommend is our YouTube channel. Okay. And you can find this on, on YouTube and you go look for listings to leads and get to the videos page here. And every video that we cover, like every call, like the one we're doing right now is being recorded and will be up here. So I just sent the link to, to all of you. So if you're on this call live, you, there might be something flashing and you can open that up and save this page. And I'm going to point out what I really think you need to be looking at. So Scott is actually doing a large eight course, like a class session of how to make a quarter million in real estate. I think it's definitely worth your time to, to hear that all eight, all eight pieces. Now I, I rotate through three classes, getting started, right? And getting started is for our new clients. Like, how do you turn on everything? How do you connect all the new technology? What are the things you should do with our platform, right? That's what getting started is. And then I do another class called Facebook and Google ads, right? There are a lot of ways to run ads on Facebook and on Google. And I go in depth and some of those ways, those classes are really helpful because I kind of split it out on if you want buyers do this, if you want sellers do that, right? So that might be really helpful for you to see if you want more listings, which is really the basis, the, ba the point of this call. And then here's top tools to get more listings. And this one, two weeks ago, I want to point out because I'm going to talk about a little bit of this and it's how to create a Google account and run an ad on Google. Okay. And I'm going to talk to you why that's the case, but I'm not going to go into how to create a Google account because I create, I went into it two weeks ago. So I definitely want all of you to watch that. And I'm going to explain to you why you're going to need to know, know about Google in just a few minutes. Okay. And frankly, I would go back and I would watch a couple versions of the, you know, because when I talk about Facebook and Google, I don't actually, I know I sound like a robot, but I actually, <laughs> I have new ideas every once in a while. So I don't say exactly the same thing. And you'll find a month ago, I talk about how to create custom landing pages for Google. This is a different topic, right? You want to know about these sorts of things. So watch a few classes is really my point, right? And so Mita, in, in answer to your query of, is there a list, a video on the listing presentation? I don't think there is, but if you look in here and you see, there might be one, right? Now, Claudia is saying, so that's, well, let's just finish this part. This is a great resource, right? Another great resource is this website. It is not this one. Let me go here. It's called leadgenwebinars.com. Okay. And this is where you sign up for the live classes like this. And today this is the one we're on, right? Top tools who are listening and get started. So all the calls that I was just mentioning on the YouTube channel, this is where you sign up for the live ones. And I think it's, it's wise to be on the live ones. If you like to ask questions and get answers, but if the, if the schedule doesn't work, then go check out our YouTube channel. Right. And then the last great resource is our mastermind group. And this is a private group on Facebook. 
and you have to be a member of it to find it. So if you go over here and search Facebook and start looking for mastermind group, you're not going to find it unless you're in it. Okay. And this is where Scott and I talk about new technology, what's going on, things like this, right? It's also where our clients come and ask questions to talk about what's going on. Rob here has been a client for a long time. And he says, without having listings, what is producing the best results for seller leads on this platform? Great question. And for some reason, he doesn't understand that there is a class just like this <laughs> to talk about that. Like, what do you do if you don't have listings and you want more listings, right? And that's where, and then Samson saying, hey, Pierce, what was that URL for Legion? Well, I'm Vince, by the way, Samson. And that call is, that lead link is legionwebinars.com. I'll, I'll send it to everybody. Pierce is Scott Pierce, my partner here, and I am Vincent Mazur. So, Samson, that link should be flashing in your panel and everybody should have that now, legionwebinars.com. So if you're watching this as a recording, just get to legionwebinars.com and you can sign up for these all these classes, okay? So the great thing about our mastermind group is it's not just me and Scott talking, it is our clients talking, right? And I want to point out something here, and this is going to get our class started because there are great questions that come in and there's also a lot of insight from our clients, right? But a couple of years ago, somebody asked this question. Who here gets two listings or more per month strictly from listings to leads? And how are they doing that, right? So since this class is about that, let's kind of see who responded and what was being said. And there's a lot of people who responded, right? And, but I want to point out this one from Dustin Fox. And he says, we average two listings from each marketed listing, all from L to L tools. We do Facebook ads, mailers, and open houses, trying to get that number to above three. So what he's saying is they want to market one listing and get three more listings. I'm pretty sure that Dustin is doing this. Dustin is actually part of an office that I sold years ago. He was a rookie doing 5 million a year. Two years later, he's doing 20 million a year. At this point, he's probably doing 30 or more per year. But he was very early saying like, we're getting all kinds of business from these three activities, Facebook ads, mailers, and open houses. There's actually more things you can do now. We're going to cover these three things and more that all are going to help you get more listings. But the point that I want to show you this is that there are a lot of people, probably including Rob over on, on our mastermind group that thinks there is some magic pill to help you get more listings, right? But actually it's market your listings, right? Market your listings and you will get more listings. That's what I'm showing you that our clients have told, told us right here. And so let's get into that, right? One of the people here on the call does have listings. So let's just address that right off the bat. If you have listings, how can you use listings to leads? to get more listings, okay? And your listings should show up on a listings page like this. And let me say this, you might not have your own listing, but you can click this button right here and you can grab a listing. So maybe one of your colleagues says, hey, yeah, use my listing and go out there and market, and go, go do things. Ida, Eltel, WordPress, my, I'm not, that is not the point of this call. My call right now is to get more listings, right? And if that was an effective way, I would be talking about it. But today we're talking about how to get more listings. We click on market listing. There are a lot of things that we do. We can do Facebook ads, Google ads, social media posts, all, you know, we create virtual tours, single property websites, got sign writers, but we need to talk about what's going to get you more listings. So the number one tool to get you more listings is this one right here. It says the nearby homeowner letter. Okay. Now you can download it. Let's look at it together. This is not, this is not artificial intelligence. It's not algorithms. It is a piece of paper. It's a single piece of paper that says, I got a home for sale. And you can go here and find out about it and become a lead. But when that home is sold, it's going to affect your home value. So go here and get your free home value. Um, and I got a question here because I just raised that question. Are we allowed to market someone else's listing not in our brokerage without asking them? That's a question from your MLS, Jonathan. We are we operate all over the United States and the Caribbean and Canada. 
and you probably have local rules. I am not the guy who knows those local rules. So I would check out if you're going to borrow a listing, you got to ask them. That might be a great question for your broker manager or your MLS. Yeah. So this piece of paper here, it could be your property, your listing, or it could be somebody else's. And basically it says, and I, and I want to point out this home is for sale. A lot of our clients use this when it's for sale. They may use it again with its open house and they'll use it again when it's sold. This is the number one tool for getting listing leads that turn into listing contracts. The point of this call is how do I get more listings? And I'm going to show you a lot of ways to get more listing leads. But then the next question is what's actually going to convert into a contract. And these leads will, you won't be generating 50 or hundred leads, like some other ways to do that but these leads will convert the fastest. And to kind of drive that point home, I want to go back to the mastermind group and I want to show you something from one of our clients, Chris. And this guy says, Hey, I got five listings in three months. It's a couple of summers ago. Right. And let's just cut to the chase. Right. How, well, how the heck did he do that? And he says, well, I took that letter and I mailed it out every other week to neighbors who own their homes for five years or more. All right. So he bought that list of homeowners from a company called Remind. Okay. Now there are a couple of other companies that do that. You might be able to talk to your title partner and say, Hey, can I get a list of homeowners in these five towns? Right. Cause I'm going to go after these five towns, right? You do that. Or you buy it from a company like Remind. So once you get that list, he mails out a version every other week, every two weeks. Now this guy actually just moved to that town. It was San Antonio, Texas, and he didn't have his own listing. So he was using the grab active listing button and borrowing listings from his office. It is remind sounds. And yeah, I think it's remind.com. And he was using that list and mailing it out on, on properties that he didn't even have just like, Hey, there's an open house this week. And Two weeks later, hey, we sold the property. And every time it's going to say that affects your home value. And so he says every time, what he says here is every time they opt in on the property valuation page, meaning every time they take this piece of paper and they type in this web address and give me their address and their contact information, I hit them up every week with phone calls, bomb, bomb, letters via mail and letters left at the door. I'm going to send this to you. And you may not know how to copy this, but literally that is a recipe for success. Okay. I would definitely recommend that you do that. Now, if we go look at people like Chris and, and I can tell you this, you should actually look at these names, Dustin Fox. Dustin is the guy who answered the question earlier, who said, every time I have one listing, I get two or three. He uses the same letter and he mails it out to 250 homes, first class. This is the one time they came out and told us about it. And he pulls 10 listings in Maryland, right? So this guy is doing it, Alicia Pless. You can go look up these three names and you'll find that Alicia says, hey, every time I mail these things out, I'd get more listings. But she also listened to one of my classes where I said, don't use your junk mail envelopes. Don't make it look like it's junk mail. Make it look like it's unique and custom so that people will open it up and not throw it away. Cause it's a simple tool, right? I'm not, I'm not telling you like, it's like super high tech. It's a simple tool, but the, but the obvious thing is, will people open it? Right. Or will they throw it away? And Alicia came in here and still does uses custom looks to get people to open those letters. So that's the nearby homeowner number one tool. If any right here below it is the e-flyer for your database. This is an electronic right here, Rose Barry. It's called the nearby homeowner letter. Do you see that? I've highlighted it in blue. There are three versions. Is there a copy for you to use? As long as you have a listing there, you have a copy. You have three copies. You decide what version you like. Now, I, I should mention right here, there's a little thing that says learn more about Express Copy. It's a new partnership that we have with the company here. We're not getting a kickback or commission. But Express Copy is doing automatically what 
our clients are doing. They're stuffing an envelope. And you remember how I mentioned Chris? And I told you Chris is mailing this out to people with five years equity, right? Well, our partner, Connect Express, you download the letter here, you send it to them and you say, hey, I want 100 or I want 200 pieces to go to this zip code. And I want those people to have five or 10 years equity. So everything that my clients have been doing for nearly 13 years by hand, we have automated it with a new partner called Express Copy. There's going to be a cost associated to that. So you can look at that cost and find out, hey, is it easier for me to do myself or have them do it? Like you, you make that decision. Get that letter out if you want more listings. You can even door knock it. If you're doing an open house for somebody, right? And you're just, do start, you know, three or four or five days earlier, door knock this. But even if it's not your listing, right? You can borrow it, get that out there. You will end up getting high quality listing. So the e-flyer for the database is the electronic version of the nearby homeowner letter. It's right underneath it. This is for agents that have hundreds or thousands of leads in your CRM, right? The, if you click on that picture or that link, you're going to land on a page to become a buyer lead. If you click on this, you're going to become a seller lead on the home valuation page, right? So to get that, you just click copy code and you take it over your CRM and you paste it and you blast it out. Right. If you have five or 10 or 20 leads, this may not be very useful, but if you got a couple hundred or a couple thousand, you should be using these flyers like every week. Now we also have a whole open house marketing toolkit. So I mentioned that you can borrow an, a listing. If it's an open house, get those letters out. This is just a lot. A lot of people are looking at open houses that own homes. So you definitely want to do your open house marketing. Also, we have postcards and door hangers, right? And it doesn't matter what status your property is. When you do that, when, when you let's download the backside, the front side's always going to say, Hey, this home is just listed or it's open house, or it's just sold. But the back is always going to say that affected your home value. Right? I know some of you are from some of the great brands in the company, right? In, 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 in the industry, I mean, you're from big Realogy brands, or you're from Remax or EXD or all these other great companies. And those companies are probably supplying you with nice collateral, with nice branding and nice colors and stuff like that. But unfortunately, they do not think of how can I get leads from that? You can pay for that, but you actually really don't typically get an ROI, a return on your investment. And that's really the bummer. When we're creating tools for you, there are going to be call to actions multiple places. So this is the same home on the front. You can find out about the home here and on the back, you can go to the other backside and there's another URL to help you get listings. So if you like ROIs and you want to do prints, well, one, you should do print and two, you should like ROIs. You might want to use our designs. Okay. There are sign writers. Great. You know, we, these are all the other cool things, but the things that get you listings are the postcards, our open house marketing toolkit the nearby homeowner letter and, and also something here, and this is a, a low volume deal, but there's something here called share on so seller social media. And I want to show this to you. This is a neat, a tool that we email to each of you. If you have a listing in your account, we email it to you. Now, if you're marketing a listing that is not yours, we will not send this tool to you. But if you're marketing a, a listing that is yours, we're going to send this tool to you and we're going to tell you to read it. You know, what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is read the email that we're sending you and, and then follow the instructions. And the instructions is forward the content to your client and call them for five seconds and ask them to post it on their Facebook. So this is a home that's for sale and it says, Hey, our home is for sale and you at your office are marketing this, right? So we're excited, right? Now, if you click on this, yeah, something's going to pop up behind and I guarantee you there's going to be a call to action to capture lead, right? But let's jump out of this account. Sorry, I hit on something wrong here. Let's jump out of this account and let's jump into another account and 
let's look at what happens when the property is sold because it's when the property is sold that it really starts to, you know, that's when realtors kind of figures out, right? So you got a listing, you can, you should do your marketing as just listed. You should do your marketing, go through it when it's, when it's open house and then go through it again when it's sold, right? So this seller social media tool, let's go look at this and see what it looks like when it's sold. So again, if you flip the property to sold and then you, we're going to email this tool to you and you're going to open the email and you're going to follow the instructions and it's going to say, Hey, you know what? Send this to your client and call them for five seconds and ask them to put it on. So here's what it looks like when it's sold. It says our home just sold. And we want to recommend you at your office for doing an excellent job. And here is your phone number and email address in front of all my friends and family and colleagues to see, right? So this is not a paid ad. This is just something that your client is sharing. Now I want to point out that if somebody clicks on this, yeah, it's going to drive to a sole property. And this is going to pop up offering a free home value. So this is different from a Facebook ad, which is maybe running and doing, you know, people who you don't know, and also, you know, a 15 mile radius of wherever, this is just going in front of your current clients, friends and family and colleagues. So this is closer to a referral, right? You're going to know the people where this is coming from, because it's going to be showing up on the ad on the lead that we send you. So I definitely recommend that you use that when you have a home that's just listed when it's just, when it's open house and when it's just sold, because people are going to see this and they're going to go, oh, you know, they're working with my friends and that's their realtor. So let's see, can we add a QR code to those letters and postcards and door hangers? Yeah, let, let's go look at that. So if we go look at our things here, you're going to notice that there are QR codes already, right? You just choose the version that you want. Okay. In most cases, we have QR codes. We don't have them in all cases because it doesn't actually make sense in all cases. I will also tell you this about QR codes. QR codes became really popular with COVID and more people are understand how to use them. The, the problem is, is that a QR code doesn't capture the lead. It drives people to a mobile optimized website that does capture the lead. Okay. So if they're, you could lose them, they can scan it, they can go there, and then maybe you don't capture the lead. I don't know if you can see it, but right above the QR code, there, it says, or text 107945 to 25678, right? Like we actually have a text service that you can upgrade to over here. I think it costs like 10 bucks a month. And, and then we, in, we put that text number on like everything, your ads, your stuff, and Here's the thing about text. When somebody texts a number to a num another number, we email that phone number to you. So I actually prefer texting over QR codes. I know that more people understand it. And certainly if we scan that QR code, it's going to take us to a website where we can become a lead, but you don't actually get the lead from the QR code. You just get them to a website that then does the work. But if you're using our tech service, that gets a lead immediately. With a QR code, can you see how many have used it? I think you can, Mita. I think you can. And that that is in the listing section under statistics. I don't know where it is. Actually, if we go to market listing and we go to traffic report down here, QR code is here. I don't know if we're showing that stat. But this is a traffic report on, on a property. And this is a, a unique client. So they're not doing much with this. They're running ads. And, and so that's, we're not seeing a lot of marketing on this one. So anyway, those are some questions and, and answers there, right? Okay. So what we really discussed here is if you have listings, how do you market them to get more listings? Does everybody understand the things that you can do? You should be using the nearby homeowner letter the e-flyer for your database and the seller social media tools. You should use them early, you know, just listed open house and sold because you want your name in front of your clients, friends, and family, right? 
colleagues. Use our open house marketing, postcards and door hangers, all kinds of ways to capture seller leads here. And that's it. That's what you do with your listings. If you're marketing your home multiple times, and I will tell you this, a lot of our clients use that nearby homeowner letter definitely multiple times because it's the top tool to get more listings, right? So that's the listing marketing side, right? Now, landing pages, I want to point in, I want to drive into next. And before we get into, I see a question. At an open house, instead of giving a flyer, can you just have the people attending use the text message option for the flyer? Yeah, so let me go into, go back to that. You could, we are recording and this recording will be on the Mastermind Group. I said that when we just started the call. It'll be in the Mastermind Group and it'll be on our YouTube channel probably tomorrow. So let me go back to the listings and, and for me to, um, at an open house, instead of giving a flyer, can we just have people attending use the text message for the flyer? Yeah, I, actually, there's a better way. So if you have an open house, and I don't know if we have an open house, let me let me jump out of this and jump into an area here. When you save an open house in your account, we email all these tools to you. And one of the tools that we create is a sign-in form, right? And the sign-in form is, let's see if we got an open house. I don't see one. So let's create this. Let, I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to add an open house here and we'll say this open house is in a couple of weeks, even though you, you wouldn't go that, that far, but I'm just going to do it. Um, so once you add your open house here, it doesn't typically flow in from the MLS. So definitely take the step to do it here. We create a bunch of tools and we email it to you, right? We send it to you and, and one tool. So I think Mita is asking about texting or whatever you, you could, I think what you might want to do at an open house is two things. When we have an open house, there's an open house sign in form. So if you have a, a laptop and you have a, a, what do you call it? A Wi-Fi. Well, just have them do this because as soon as they fill this out and, and here's the, here's the key, you know, everybody wants to give their feedback, right? Ever since Yelp and all these other things, everybody feels like your, your, your thoughts on the subject are really important and they are important, right? But here just say, Hey, we'd love your feedback. Please go to this page right here on my laptop or my iPad and just put it in there, right? Give us your stuff. If they give you their email address, which is actually required, we're going to email them a mobile optimized single property website for this property, which is going to have all kinds of lead capture there, but you've already got their lead at this level. So I definitely recommend that or, and, or I would say, Hey, let's use the listing flyers like these, or where was the ones that we have? So the QR codes are here on these as well. Some of them have QR codes, but I would probably suggest, you know, using the nearby homeowner letter. That's actually what I would do because I would want to say, Hey, if you want more information on this, on this property right? That we're, we're talking about right now, just scan that QR code right there, right? You're going to, you, you already know the ups and, and downs of scanning, but it's also, if they take this piece of paper, if you're holding an open house, you should literally have a stack of these waiting, right? Hey, if you want go find out more about that, but now they're going to know like, oh, that's going to affect your home. You, I, I mean, I don't think I, we have had clients say they've had 80 people go through their open houses. I haven't heard that lately because you know, the mortgage rates are, are all different and stuff, but I would be printing 20 of these minimally at any open house and leave them there and then have my open house sign in form. So if they want a piece of paper or if they want to do it electronically, either way, you've got it there. Uh, you receive the leads in an email, meet, meet a, just like every other lead we're going to email it to. Okay. So that would be my recommendation at an open house. Have your laptop ready, get it electronically, give this to them so that you might actually get some home value lead at the same time. Okay. So we were going over to landing pages and let me show you, like you should all have a landing page for every town that you want more listings in. Okay. So you see, like, I don't know where you guys live, but there's, you usually have three or four towns or neighborhoods where you want to build your business, right? 
And you and so you kind of do this. You go up to landing page, you click green landing page, you click on property valuation plus. Now I will just point out there's all kinds of templates for landing pages. I buyers, this was expired. Expired to be a, a, important, right? If you want more listings, so you can create one of those too. But but the core one that you need is property valuation plus, and you type in the name of your town, right? And that's what you do. And once you do, we're going to drop you on an editor. And it looks like this, right? Now, it doesn't look like that. It doesn't have the picture. We drop you on the area where you need to put that upload a background picture. And you definitely need to have a, a background picture. So I'm going to log out of this and show you something. So, you know, I mentioned earlier, I set up the team accounts and office accounts around the country. And I just did a, another call with one of our old Cobalt Banker clients, CD Summit. And it was cool because I talk about them for years. I've been talking about them. So I want to show you their landing page because after we did like some training calls, their, their office owner called me and he's like, Hey, Vince, you know, this is great. We're capturing leads all over the place. And our number one home valuation ad is the one that has the Summit Diner in the background, which kind of blew them away, right? And I think it blows a lot of realtors away, but I want to understand, I want you to understand what you're really trying to do here, right? When you're running an ad or if you're mailing out a piece of paper and you are saying, hey, I don't know you, you don't know me, would you like your free home value? Well, sure. Well, the first question is what's your address? And you type it in and it goes, okay, well, what's your email address? If they don't know you, I mean, ask yourself this question. Do you like putting your name and address and email and phone number all over the internet on any form you look at? I don't think you guys do, right? I know I don't. So if you need to establish any sort of trust, you better have a picture that says you know their neighborhood. And the Summit Diner you can see is this old converted railroad car look. You know, this, if you know this in a town of 24,000 people, you know Summit Diner, you, you, you know Summit, New Jersey. And that's what you're trying to convey when you create a landing page that put in a photograph of something that means something to your area, right? Not this generic one that we're going to give you because that just says national spam campaign to me. So years ago, like, so Robert, I, I, what well, years ago, they, I learned that if you ask the question, are you working with a realtor? They lie to you every time. I said, it's just, who is your realtor? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting, Robert. I appreciate that. But right now I got to keep going <laughs> talking about it. So, yeah, I mean, you know, when we're capturing leads, you know, there's always people who are going to say yes or no, or give you the right answer. And it's actually Mickey Mouse and stuff like that. But we're just going to focus on what we're trying to do here. So you got to create landing pages for every market. Okay. You do it right here. And once you've done that, you will find if you click on edit and tools, there's a really great tool that looks like the nearby homeowner letter. It's under print marketing. So if you don't have listings, it doesn't matter. You just print this letter and I'll show it to you now. And this one, you're going to need to do a little bit of homework. You're going to have to go find a, a, a local real estate article and find out what the sales are for the previous month and just put them here. Right. And then once you've done that, get this letter into the market. Right. So you just want to know like, Hey, you know, 20 homes sold in December. That means the average price was here. That's 300 for the year. Get this in, get this in your market, mail it, door knock it, leave it at Starbucks. I don't know how you get it in your market, but that is a useful tool buried in the back of advanced options. And you can do that. And you can also set it up for auto posting so that that will go out to your social media accounts and capture leads that way. It's not even a paid ad. It's just automatically going out. So if we've created all the landing pages that we need, the most important thing you can do is run ads to get it there. And I'm going to jump out of this account here and jump into another to talk about that. Right. So we were looking at this account earlier. These guys run a lot of ads for agents in North and South Carolina, but their focus is buyers, right? 
and not, not selling leads, but I will go to the ads page and we're going to talk about landing pages anyway and sold ads. And there are a number of ways to run ads with listings to leads to get you seller leads. A number of ways are on Facebook and a few ways are on Google. Okay. And so, okay. So here, you, the first thing you got to do is connect to Facebook and connect to Google. And I'll, and I'll tell you this, when you click on Facebook, you can create a listing ad, a landing page ad, and a PDF guide. Ad. You can do custom too, but honestly, I don't, I'm not going to talk about custom. The other three ads will get you listing leads. So let's go through that. So if I click on create a listing ad, I want to market a home that is under contract or sold. Okay. Cause when anytime you're doing pending or under contract or sold, the, 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 the call to action, the text that we're automatically writing for you is pre-written that affects your home value, right? That's what it is right there. And all you got to do is click publish and that's it. Now you could customize this and make it work a little bit better. If you got multiple contracts, if you sold above asking, I would type that in there because that's an incentive to work with you. If you can do something quickly or get top dollar, right? So sold ads work really well. A listing ad for a home that is under contract or pending. Actually, that's the cheapest way to get listing leads. The language is almost exactly the same. Basically saying when that home is sold, it's going to affect your home value. But Facebook doesn't know how to set the pricing for this. So these leads can often cost $2 and $40, and fifty cents per lead. You'll notice when you run an ad, it's a $50 ad whenever you're doing ads for sellers. It's a seven day ad. And the, the seven day ad, $50, and Facebook is going to tell you how much they're charging you per lead. Okay. It's not always the same. And, and let me show you what I mean. This home here, th this, this office here has been running. 140 ads since the end of October. It's now the end of January. So this is now a three month account. They've spent nearly $13,000 and they generated nearly 5,000 leads. Their business pages has been seen nearly a million times. Okay. This is in three months. This group here at Keller Williams is going to be dominating the Carolinas. I can tell you that because they are going that this, that's just one quarter of the year. Their, their business page is probably going to be, end up being seen 5 million times in North and South Carolina, right? So if you're in the Carolinas, you might want to be thinking about that. These guys have a serious ad program going with our platform. But what I wanted to show you is that every ad, Facebook tells you how many people saw it. 3,700 people saw this, 2,800 people saw this, 3,000 people. They also have a cost per lead. $3.11, $2.43, $3.60, right? You can just go through and read all this and it just goes on for 140 times, right? And what I'm trying to tell you is Facebook changes the price per lead. It probably has something to do with competition. I don't know exactly how they set it, but they're setting that price. So if you're running an ad in our system, I got too many pages open. It's going to, you know, basically, Facebook is going to set that price. And what I described to you in a listing ad is if the property is sold, those leads will cost you five to seven dollars each. Remember, it's a $50 ad. So if it's five dollars per lead, you're only going to get 10 leads. If you've got a property that's under contract or pending or active contingent, something late stage but not sold, Facebook doesn't know what to do. So they're charging less like $2.40 per lead. So if you got a $50 ad and now you're being charged $2.50, you're going to get 20 leads, right? So what happens if we don't do a listing ad and we say, let's create a PDF guide ad. Remember I mentioned the PDF guides and I said there are 40 for homeowners. So there are 40 different topics that you could be talking about and you're branded on every page. So let's talk about the five dangers of overpricing, right? You can download it here to read it yourself. But to create the ad, you just click here, have it on lead ads. And let's go here. 
you do have to type in the name of your town, right? So let's just type in Cleveland, right? And you can expand the radius because it's not, the ad itself is not about Cleveland. So if you kind of work in a, in a broader radius, you can expand that. It's a $50 ad, just like the other ones, seven day ad. But Facebook sets the price of these leads often at around $10, okay? So if you're running a $50 ad and they're charging you $10 per lead, you're only gonna get five leads, okay? Now, Mita has a question, can, we pre can the previous leads see your ad? Generally speaking, no, but if you turn on custom audience and retargeting, you can have it go to display to all past leads, right? And so that's how you would, you would wanna turn on retargeting and that's will allow your old leads to see this, right? There's also more to do back to our super cool YouTube page. You will see me talking about custom audiences. If you like to convert leads, and that's really when you get paid is when you convert the lead, right? Go find the calls where I'm talking about custom audiences. You'll see that in the white text down below. A few months ago, I really got into that subject right here. Custom audiences, how to target homeowners. You could, that's a general discussion of custom audiences. If you go down even six or seven months, you will see me talking about best ways to get listings from Facebook and new strategy to get high quality listings from Facebook. This is custom audiences, how you create them in our platform, which is very easy and how you target on Facebook, those people. So you definitely want to learn that if you want to use Facebook for getting listing. Ads. Okay. So now we've talked about running listing ads on later stage homes, running PDF guide ads. Let's now talk about running home value ads. So we've got one here for, for Raleigh. I think it's in North Carolina. And when we choose the landing page, we want to make sure we type in the name of the town, right? And when we, but when we push this, it's going to, these leads, Facebook is really familiar with this kind of ad. These are the most expensive leads you get. So again, it's a $50 ad, but often our clients are charged 12 to $15 per lead. So you might get three or four leads from this, right? Same 50 bucks, but just different. And, and so before you run this kind of ad, I recommend you go check out these custom audience things and the best way to get listings from Facebook, because if you want good results on an ad like that, you need to jump through a couple of hoops. Just doing it this way, I don't typically recommend this, okay? You just click publish and there you go. And if you want, you can retarget your old leads and you might say, yeah, I want to do all my listings to leads, right? There's something like that, right? You might have a list of all the homeowners in Raleigh because you bought it from Remind or something like that. That's how you use custom audiences. So that's running ads on Facebook. Okay. Now let me ask a question and have a sip of coffee. How many of you have run ads on Facebook? Just a yes or no would, would help. Okay. Oh, where did I get it? Oh, what, what is this? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So some of you have run ads on Facebook, but one of you has to, is that, what, what about the rest of you? Have you run ads on Facebook? Mm. Samson's run ads and never got any qualified lead. Well, that's, yeah, that's a great, great point. Qualified lead. That's, yeah, you're not going to get that from Facebook. So, you know, that's kind of getting into it. So let me ask you this. So other people have run ads on Facebook. How many here have run ads on Google? Let me ask you that. Yes or no? Ads on Google. Yes. No, no, no. Anybody else? Yeah. No. Yes. Oh, I need us run. Yes and yes on Google and Facebook. Okay. So a lot of people are not running ads on Google. And so Sam said, well, why are we spending money if you said that you won't get qualified lead? Well, it's, it's difficult to, to convert or, or to qualify leads on Facebook. They just don't really, you know, you know, they just don't do that. But I will tell you this. So Samson, don't get, you know, too, too out of, out of control over there. We have clients. I, I, I set up teams. I've got clients that have been running ads on Facebook and converting those, right? 
I've even had teams come up to me and say, we convert 5% of your Facebook ads, right? Your Facebook leads. Okay. So you can certainly do it, but you're going to have to have a real solid follow-up program. And there are people who know this, right? And I've, I've talked to people and they say, Hey, you know what? We convert one out of 70 Facebook leads from your platform. And they say, but we also convert one out of 40 of our Google leads. Right. And so they're very excited to see what, what I'm about to show you. And that is that we actually have an add on for running ads on Google. Okay. So if you click on this green button to create an ad, if you don't have your ad connected, your ad account on Google connected, you won't be able to do this. But one of the top things you should do is create a landing page ad for property valuation. If you want listing, and I think when I, what I've been showing you is the listing one, right? The nearby home one and telling you this is the top tool, right? For more listing. That's because I think over time, this is going to become the top way of getting listing leads. And I'll explain to you why. First of all, you have to create a landing page for your town that you type in the, the town where you want to focus. If you click on view link, you're going to see it. And all you got to do is click publish. Okay. Now this is going to create an ad on Google. All right. And let me explain the difference of Google and Facebook for you. First of all, Google is the number one website in the entire internet and certainly in, in town, right. It, or in the country, it's the number one website. 86% of all questions on the internet occur on this page. So if you want to know a top restaurant or if you want to know a top hotel, or you want to know anything, 86% of all searches start here, including searches like this. How do I sell my home? And when I type in, how do I sell my home? You notice that I've got a bunch of ads right in front of me. How do people do that on the number one website in the United States? They do it usually inside Google. And let me tell you, it's a nightmare, but now you have a very easy way to do it. You. Just click a couple of buttons and click publish. And we make it really, really easy for you to have an ad, just like what I've shown you. <laughs> Sorry. So if you're going to be in real estate, you know, for a couple more years, you should probably be thinking about how do you take advantage of the number one website in the country? Just in case you don't know this, the number one website in the country is Google. The number two website in the country is YouTube. And the number three website in the country is Facebook. Now we have been dominating Facebook for a long time, but we just added Google software three months ago. And we are doing our best to make it more easier for you to get buyer and seller leads. You now know one way, which is create a landing page ad on Google, right? You could also create a PDF guide app. And if you click on seller PDF guides and you say, Hey, you know, I just want to focus on sellers. Okay. I must be there already. Oh, that's right. And I'm going to just create an on divorce and real estate, right? And I'm going to create that. And we don't know is somebody, you know, what's going on, but, um, you can always create it. I will give it a second. It's kind of doing its thing. It's going to write the ad and it's going to put the, the landing page and everything behind it. So all you really need to do is type in the name of the town. So while that's baking, let's see here. So here I got abortion real estate. I'm going to type in Lafayette. Let's that's where I need to. Maybe there's somebody in Lafayette who's thinking about divorce. And so I just want to have this out there. Right. And if we click view the link. This is actually a landing page that we've designed for you. And they have to fill that out to download it, right? So the ad is going to show up on Google when somebody types in either sell my home or what if they type in divorce, right? Divorce to turning, right? What if at that point, of course, realtor or lawyers are right there. But what if you're like, oh, you know what? Let's talk about divorce and real estate. And they'll be like, oh my God, I better think of that. Right. So that's how you take advantage of that. So let's answer some questions here. Okay. Yeah. So Samson's telling me, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Well, Samson, I'm sorry. You're not converting leads. I totally understand that you might have better luck with Google. 
but you need to have a good, I don't know what you're doing for converting leads, but I will give you guys a little bit of insight here. I'm just with Google ads, is it more specific to that for that city? You know, it is not more specific than that. And I think it, you may not know this, but the rules on Facebook regarding targeting had shrunk tremendously, right? You can't target on Facebook the way that you used to. And that's really because of laws pushed down on them by HUD, because people, professionals are writing illegal ads. Okay. So I think that's, so, so running ads on, on Facebook has gotten a little bit weaker, right? Google has similar issues, right? But I do think that Google is still, you got to think of it this way and, and definitely do think about it. One thing I didn't mention about Facebook is while it is the number three website in the country, people spend a lot of time here. They're looking at what their friends are doing, their vacations. Here, I got somebody drinking coffee, right? This is the kind of nonsense that keeps people on Facebook for 40 minutes every day, announcing their birthdays, whatever, where they are on vacation. That's what Facebook is about. That might not be what you like, but that is definitely what 70% of Americans like, okay? They just love to be on here scrolling through. And your ad, shows up right here. Okay. So when you run an ad on Facebook shows up right here, were they thinking about real estate? No. Did you say, would you like your home value or you got an open house and now you're in front of me and yeah, I'll click on that. Yeah. So is that really a qualified lead? Cause they were looking at it cause they saw a cool looking house. Maybe it's not the highest quality lead, right? But when somebody goes to Google, you know, let's just go to Google again and, and look at what it is. It's not pictures of what my friends are eating. It's a question. What's your question, right? Is your question, what are capital gains, right? What are the taxes when I sell a home on selling the home, right? That's when things become, you know, that's what people are going to Google for to ask questions about real estate. Are you taking advantage of that? Right. They don't go to Facebook to ask that question. They go to Facebook to see what their grandkids are doing and stuff like, and, and stuff like that. Right. And so I, I do think in any industry, you should have a Google strategy. Okay. And we make it incredibly easy because I can tell you this, if you go over here to this page here and you find this call. I know Samson's saying you're going to try Google now. All of you need to find this call. Let's go find it. It says Facebook and Google ads. Give me a second. How to create a Google account and run an ad. It's two weeks ago. You should watch this before any of you get involved because you will see what it's like to run an ad inside Google and it's hideous. And then it'll, I'll compare you and say, well, this is how you do it in listings leads. And it's easy, right? We have Google software and obviously we want to make things easy for our clients. And that's why, but you do need to watch this because it's going to tell you how to create a Google account. And my guess is most of you don't have a Google account. Yeah. They have two are mailing lists. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, okay. Marketing ad at the beginning to create the page and mass mail. Yeah. So. Samson is asking, can we go look at the, at the number one tool that I was talking about earlier, which is the nearby home group. But before we go there, you now understand that you can run ads with our platform to get seller, right? You can run three kinds of ads on Facebook, which is property ads on later stage homes. You can run ads on landing pages on Facebook, and you can run ads on PDF guides on Facebook. And you can also run ads on Google for landing pages and PDF guides for homeowners as well. And I think it's smarter if you're trying to get listings to do it on Google. If you're trying to get buyers, I would still focus on Facebook. I haven't figured out yet how you get buyers from, from Google. There perhaps is ways. We actually do give you the ability to run ads there. It just doesn't, it's not gelling in my brain yet. So. 
let me ask this question. Let me ask this question. We have talked about landing pages, PDF guides for homeowners, listings and ads. Does everybody understand what we've talked about? Google ads screen. I get a pop-up offering. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So Michael is saying, hey, when I click on this, create an ad, it's telling me to sign up, right? And that's right. So the Google software is an add-on. I'm sorry, Michael, I didn't mention that. It's a $30 a month add-on to use that software. You don't ne necessarily need to do it, but if you go watch this video that I was talking about here, you will definitely want to do that. Because if you have to run an ad inside Google, it's hideous. If you want to run an ad inside of our platform using our integration with Google software, it costs 30 bucks a month and it's super easy. If you're trying to get listing leads, use Google. That's what I'm saying, Sam. Yeah, okay. You're welcome. You're welcome, Michael. So one last thing, we'll go back to the top tool for more listings, which currently is the nearby homeowner letter. So any listing that you have, you click on market listings, and you click on nearby homeowner letter and you can use our partner express copy to mail it out or you can download it and get it out in the market yourself okay are there any questions about what we talked about we talked about a lot of things and a lot of ways to get listings is everybody understanding what i've said or is there anything kind of confusing what i will say is this call is being recorded michael just asked that question and it will be in our mastermind group and it will be on this youtube channel Okay. So Samson for what the third or fourth time today, we are on the listings page and we are a market listing and it's the nearby homeowner letter. Okay. It's right here on this list. It's highlighted in blue. Michael, if you're in our mastermind group, this call is being recorded and will be there. And I did send the link. I will send it out to everybody right now. I honestly think you should all hold on to this page which is our YouTube channel. I'm gonna send it to everybody right now. This call is being recorded and it will be on this channel and you should all be checking out these classes. I mean, I know it's a lot, you know, some of these classes are long, they're all like an hour long. It's, it's either myself or Scott, but there's so much that we do. And this will help your business grow. I know there are a lot of companies out there that got all kinds of great ideas and you buy stuff and you'll get off this call and have like five vendors calling you. But if you just invest your time in our platform, you will understand how to make it, how to leverage it to grow your business. And we have a lot of examples of that. And I know it works. And there are a lot of our colleagues that tell you that it works. And they'll tell you that in the mastermind group. So do your best to sort of get your arms around this. And hopefully, you know, you can make it work for you. We appreciate you as clients. We got a great support team. If you have questions, go down to the support page on the bottom left. I have a problem getting to market listings. Well, all you got to do is click on listings, Samson. And if you have a listing here, it'll be sitting in this list and there will be a big green button next to it that says market listings. When you click that button, that gets you to this big list of tools. Okay. If you cannot do that, email our support team and ask them why that's the case. You need a listing there to get to market listing. So everybody, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate all the questions. I hope this is all starting to make sense for you. Get a handful of these tools in your business, like consistently, and that will work out. It, it will work out. Market your listings. Get ads out there, figure out Google, especially for listings. And we're just going to make your life a lot easier. So thanks so much. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Matt. Take care. And we'll talk soon. Okay. Bye-bye.